Hey guys, welcome back to the weekly foundation series. Um, I took a little break from this series as some of you might have already known uh, because I wanted to try and upload different types of videos on this channel but so many of you guys wanted this series back. Uh, also, I'm using uh, light for the first time. In this series I usually use natural lighting so you guys can see what it looks like in the sun but it's actually kind of dark right now and lots of you were saying that you don't have even lighting in your videos um, and I had a shadow on half my face and some of you didn't like that so this is just, this is artificial lighting. Uh, hopefully you'll still be able to see the foundation but we will, we will see. Got my blending brush all ready, all wet, all Ugh. I did find out that trying to clean one of these things, even with the uh, brush shampoo that you can get, this is like the hardest thing to get foundation out of. You are. It, I was like, I had cramp in my hand for like 10 minutes after trying to do it. Anyway, in today's episode, we are reviewing the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation. And I believe I bought this a few weeks ago. Well, more than a few weeks ago, it must be, um, when I got my skin shade sort of like tested, if that makes sense. Like they, they hold like a machine up to your face in boots uh, on the number seven counter and they, they try and work out from your uh, cheeks what, uh, what shade foundation you are. I have not been able to talk in many of my videos recently. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a sign of something going wrong in my brain. I don't know, but it's kind of worrying me a little bit. I will be honest. Anyway, so I got matched and I was the shade Calico, uh, which looks very kind of, like grayish kind of taupe colour. I don't know if taupe is the right word. Taupe's probably like green. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, and this is 30 milliliter. I will put the price on the screen right now for you guys. And this is apparently non-stop complexion perfection, up to 24 hours wear. Uh, as always, uh, number one, don't wear foundation for 24 hours. Number two, I don't really believe any products that say they last 24 hours because everything just rubs off and creases in the end. Um, hypoallergenic, which I assume means you're not going to come out in a rash, which is fantastic news. This comfortable foundation feels lightweight and breathable and gives an even tone, beautifully smooth complexion that looks and feels fresh all day long. Well, I mean, they're not going to say it's terrible, are they? They're not going to go, it's not right foundation, it's a bit drying, but, you know, a bit patchy but we're gonna sell it anyway. Also, because so many of you told me off of putting the thing straight on the sponge, not doing it, just gonna pump it onto the back of my hand, all right? There, that, sh that should cover my whole face. If it doesn't, that's a pretty bad product. So we're just gonna take a little bit on the flat end of the blending brush, another thing that you guys taught me. See, I like the fact that we're a community that just teaches you know, we teach each other how to use products. I think that's a good thing. I have actually looked up how to use blending sponges by Real Techniques, and loads of uh, loads of you guys are saying, "Oh, don't don't wipe it across your face." But I watched a tutorial video by Sam and Nick Chapman, and she rubs it on her face. So shush. This is literally what she does with it. So hush your little selves. I do want to say now, it smells delicious. It smells like I want to eat it. What? Why? Why is there a foundation that smells nice? Usually this stuff smells like paint. You know, it smells like I'm putting Dulux on my face. Hashtag not spawn, not sponsored by Dulux. Although they do make great paint. It's very hard to tell in this little camera monitor that I'm using uh, how well this is applying. So I'm gonna actually go and get um, a mirror from my eyeshadow kit in a second. This is exactly why I don't use artificial lighting because it just, it looks the same to me and now I'm dropping my sponge. Okay, I have a mirror and from what I can see there's absolute no creasing, there's no drying, it's even, it's very lightweight. Um, so you can still see a few blemishes, but to me, like, I have to use kind of lightweight foundations anyway, because my face is not, it doesn't need like really heavy foundation and it just creases up and stuff. But this is, this is really gorgeous. I'm just gonna pump a little bit more in my hand and use the other end of the sponge now. Obviously for like the little areas, uh, like under the eyes and around the nose, you should really just use concealer, but I'm just, cause I'm not using concealer, I just, I just wanna try and do a little bit. This foundation does actually go a long way. I didn't think it would, um, but cause it's so lightweight, it just spreads over the face really easily. Like I don't feel the need to like build this up. You know, it's just, it's just going on really nicely and staying put. I have like really big pores on my nose. You guys will never see them probably, unless it's like a really big close up. But for me, like I can really notice my pores and my mom has really big pores. And I think I've got them from her. Thanks mom. That's one of my really like self-conscious things. Um, that and the bags under my eyes that I've had since I was very young. Um, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I used to have I used to, and I don't anymore. I used to have a uh, mild OCD when I was about eight uh, from pyrophobia, which is fear of fire. I used to have to stay up till like 
three, four o'clock in the morning when I was eight, just checking that all of my plug switches were off in my room. And if they weren't all off, I was, I just, I was sure that there was gonna be a fire. And this one time my radiator started leaking and it was only hot water and it wasn't even hot, it was just warm. But I was, I used to have to stay up and check that my new radiator wasn't leaking. Otherwise, if hot water touched the carpet, I would think that my room would set fire. Um, so a lot of it is caused through that and just always just sort of having eye bags um, and also having like my chronic fatigue thing because um, I don't like talking about that now believe it or not like I feel like I mention it so much I'm becoming a parody of myself but like um, I feel like that really doesn't help either anyway so now that I've talked about all of my horrible medical and mental issues um, that's it. And yes, my eyes have a ring light thing in them. It makes me look like an alien, I know. I could not be more impressed with this foundation if I tried. If I get too close, like, it will just become overexposed because of the lighting. But if I try and get, let me shimmy on up here. If I try and get as close as I can so you guys can see, I look airbrushed. Like, I think that's incredible. Like, I really, really, this is, my face feels really soft, really moisturized. It doesn't feel like it's coming off in my hands, which is not, nothing is coming off. I think this is genuinely, that has got to be the best foundation I've tried so far. I am so, so impressed with this. Obviously, like, if you live uh, in America, I don't know how easy it is for you guys to get number seven. Um, but if you can, then definitely do try it. This is incredible. I think that actually might replace the foundation I use currently. I currently use MAC and I have real issues with MAC because they recently decided that they were just gonna start testing on animals again. They didn't and then they decided, hey, China won our products. I'm just, just gonna stick foundation in rabbit's eyes again. Great. And like, I know that a lot of the foundations that I try, um, the companies do test on animals. I bought most of them, as I said at the beginning of the series, I bought most of them way before I started really thinking ethically about that sort of thing. Um, and I still want to review them, I just, I don't want to throw them away because I feel like if I throw them away then those animals kind of suffered in vain but I also don't want to promote them and call them good products but they, they might be a good pro- oh it's so hard to decide. Anyway, this, this thing is incredible, that's what matters here right now. Also bunnies matter, but this matters as well. Have you tried the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation? Did it work for you? Do you like it? Would you buy it on the basis of this, this thing that I have made? Again, I'm in the shade Calico, but if you go up to any number seven uh, counter in Boots in the UK and ask to have your shade tested, then they will put a little machine to your face and they will tell you which shade you are. And clearly, this has worked because I feel like it matches my neck completely. I think I found my foundation. Wow! <laughs> I'm so impressed with this right now. You have no idea. I mean, you might have some idea because I've just been raving about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!